guys, it's Bernadette here and I'm coming to you today with um, an idea that I think you're going to really like. It's a quick, fun, easy sketch and it's the um, tools that you need to complete this are very inexpensive. So the first thing you're going to need is some Chinese calligraphy ink. And the brand of this is Daiso, and uh, I purchased this off of Amazon, and it is very inexpensive, very, very inexpensive. And you get six fluid ounces, and a little of this ink goes a long way. The second thing that you're gonna need is a little container to put the ink in. This is an ink well, but you don't need uh, a specific container. Anything will work. But the most important things that you're going to need are some paint brushes that are very messed up. Um, you can see that these are practically ruined paint brushes, but the worse shape that your paint brushes are in, the better they will work for this Chinese like technique. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start by dipping my brush into the ink. Like I said, a little goes a long way. So kind of wipe off the excess ink. And I'm gonna start by drawing a skinny branch. And then I'm gonna draw another skinny branch next to it. And I am, as you can tell, putting extremely um, easy pressure on the paintbrush. I am just making light, light strokes. And they're not fancy strokes. Um, you know, you don't want to make it nice and even. You want this branch to have character because that's what branches look like uh, in the wild or in nature. So, Next, I'm going to draw a branch like that, and then I'm going to draw the shape of a leaf with just a tiny, tiny little bit of brush at the very end. And what you want to remember, the most important thing about this piece that you are going to do is white space is your friend. So let me um, grab a scrap piece of paper here. Let me see. I'm going to just show you on this scrap piece of paper what you do not want to do. You don't, don't want to make a shape like this and make it perfect and color it in completely. You want to have some negative coverage here. And then the finished product, it looks kind of weird right now, but you're gonna be surprised because the finished product looks like leaves. So I'm gonna draw another branch like that. And with this Chinese-like technique, I like to draw very faint and light, light pressure. Light strokes, even if they're completely wrong, look better than big, heavy ones, even if they're the right shape. So I'm gonna continue on like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I may speed up this process of drawing the leaves so that you won't be bored and having to watch me draw each and every leaf. You get the point. I'm gonna just continue all the way here to the top. Make one kind of going off the top here. And it looks like a tree that you would see growing in, in nature here. Okay. 
Then when you get to the bottom, you're going to just lightly apply pressure to the brush. Once again, leaving white space and symmetry is going to be your enemy here. You want rugged, abstract strokes. You want it to look very natural. And just make the strokes like that. Okay, now I'm going to dip my brush in the ink again. And as you saw, a little goes a long way with this ink. So this is, I think, only the second or third time I've dipped my brush in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the crane. So I'm going to start here in the tail and draw kind of like a long leaf shape. And as I get towards the tail here, I am going to drag the brush, making abstract strokes, just like that. So that'll look like the tail of the crane. Now you can color a lot of this portion in like this, but still leave some bare spots. Then I'm going to make kind of like a triangle shape here at the end of the leaf, and that's going to connect the neck. And you're gonna make almost like an upside down J. And then we're gonna dip the brush in a little bit more ink. And I am going to leave a white space right there for the eye of the bird. This is kind of looking sort of like a crane shape. There we go. Now we're gonna take this and make a very, very, very thin line. Like that. And that's actually the beak. I'm gonna come down a little bit more, make this the top of the head a little bit. There we go. I'm going to come around and make this a little bit wider, not too wide. And that's going to be the shape of the bird itself. And this bottom part needs to be a little fatter, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add that line, no problem. Now I'm going to draw the legs. The legs are very, very skinny. I'm going to draw a straight, well, not really straight, but a straight-ish line. Very skinny. Then I'm going to add some bulk right here in the middle. Stop and then continue with a fairly thin line. And I'm going to do the same thing again next to it. Just like so. And you can tell there that that's actually two lines, but that won't matter at the end. We're just gonna color that in just a little bit. There we go. And, you know, there's no such thing as a mistake with this. Just keep going with it, and in the end, it'll really look good. So now I'm gonna just lightly tap with the brush. And actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this paint off. There's a little bit too much paint on this brush for what I want to do right now. 
now I just want to tap and make that look kind of like a wing. So there you have it. And that is kind of like a Chinese form of drawing or painting. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of different shapes you can do, different animals. Um, a panda bear is a lot of fun to do as well. So if you'd like to see me do a panda bear, just let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and please like this video and you have a fabulous day. Until next time. Bye guys.